one of my young students just finished this book. And we really had a lot of fun. The last song in the book was What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor. I just noticed my copy does not have that song. I wonder if they tossed it out. What Shall We Do With a Drunken Sailor? Come on. Kids can handle that stuff. So uh, learning old folk songs is actually really fun. Learning the melodies. And when you add the chords, it becomes a lot more, I don't know, just the chords are surprisingly cool to play. So this song is D minor for two measures, then C for two measures. Now two more measures of D minor, then a half note on A minor, half note on C, and a measure of D minor. That's the cycle. I'm going to play it at 120 beats a minute. Play along. Here's the C. C. D minor. A minor. C. D minor. D minor. D minor. C. C. D minor. D minor, A minor, C, D minor, C, C, D minor, D minor, A minor, C, D minor, D minor, D minor, C. Cool, man. something like that for the picking, roughly. So yeah, we should know uh, old melodies and so forth. Combine that with uh, any other way you can learn by ear, tablature, uh, sight reading, videos, it, who knows? I don't know how people learn stuff. I usually just listen, but uh, I'm starting to do more reading or chord charts, definitely chord charts, I use those, but a lot of things I can kind of, a lot of songs I just listen to it and I can hear it pretty good. But, you know, try to... I don't think there's any one source that's perfect. If you can only play by ear, that's cool, but incorporate sight reading. Or if you can only sight read and you can't play by ear, I think you're missing out there too. 
and you should know tablature, you should know the standard staff, you should know chord charts, and you should also just go crazy and make up your own stuff. <laughs> and uh, so mix it up and have fun. Let me know what you're up to.